what's next. Dear sir, with this message, I would like to express my apologies for our defeat in the second bull run. I am ensuring you that our men are still in good fighting condition and dead, and we have enough supply to continue fighting General Saltwall Magnus. Urgent report. The Battle of the Second Bull Run caused many losses to our enemy, but the uh, damned Yankees have unlimited resources. More than 83,000 Union troops are being dispatched to your front. Oh boy, someone's overcompensating. All right, the next big one is Antietam. And we've got Chantilly and the Weapons Factory to do first. So let's do it. All right, after the second battle of Bull Run, the Federal Army is reforming its forces at uh, Centreville. You are on a mission to lead a part of your army around the Yankees' right flank, get behind the Union position, and cut off their line of retreat. While your troops are resting near Chantilly, the patrol spotted two Federal divisions approaching from the south. Normally, in a situation like this, I would bring in the Second Corps just to get them some experience. But I have to test out the 4.5 inch siege guns. Two Yankee divisions are marching from the south to attack you. Deploy your men to this field and repel the attackers. Quickly secure the good ground to your flank to not allow them to pass through. Reinforcements are on the way to assist you. Uh, okay, so we'll, as usual, we'll pop everybody off here. And obviously, Eliminator's coming. Uh, obviously Magnus is coming. Uh, Big Iron is just, um, a, a, a given. And we gotta find Midge. Here we go. There they are. Midge Man. The Siege Guns. Uh, alright. Now bring in the infantry. Bring in the infantry. Uh, the First Division, of course, as always, is coming on in. And let's see... Uh, Wolf King is a big boy. Where is... There's Hyrum Noodle. We got room for one more. Who do we want to bring? Or we can bring in some skirmishers or some more can... Well, yeah, we got three cannons already. I know, I know Potatoes in chat. Let's bring him. Uh, alrighty, so, uh, three positions to hold. So, this flank over here looks like we're going to have open fields of fire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stack my best shooters up on this flank. Uh, oh god. Silesidius. Welcome, Silesidius. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. And then on this flank, because it's uh, a little more tree-y. I'm going to have my guys that are better at melee combat. Uh, potato, you'll hold the center. Big iron. Okay, there's open fields of fire at the top, and it's pretty pretty uh, buggered down here. So we'll put big iron in the north. Big iron in the north. Eliminator. Um... Magnus, canister shot will be very useful down here. Midge Man, you'll hold the center. Eliminator, you'll hold the north. Okay, and we are going... Wait, do they really... Am I really outnumbering them that badly? Do they only have 3,000 men? Motherfucker. Um... Okay, so what does this look like? Nope, not using that for not not using that position. Big iron, you are gonna flank way up this way. Actually, let's uh, get him out of the forest as soon as possible down along the road. Uh, eliminator into the woods here. Potato, I guess you get to have this farm. Midge man, I'm gonna move you up a little bit. With General Saltwall and the supplies. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Medeus, welcome. Hyrum Noodle, take this little wooded area right there. Wolf King, you're gonna flank down this way. Uh, and my finest, who's it is? Oh, oh wait, those are my troops. Where the fuck are their troops? 
Do I just outnumber them by more now? Uh, all right, all the cavalry I'm gonna bring up here just because there's more room to maneuver. Soul Reaper into the center, and Neocrat, you're gonna take up that, uh, you know what, uh, south. Hold the extreme flank. Oh, we got more coming. Oh, wait, Judas. Bring you up over here. Oh, Midge Man got his first shot off. Not bad, not bad. Oh, they've already got, they've already got friendos over here. Big Iron, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some help. They got guys up in there. Whoa, hey, hi, hi. Those are about a few skirmishers. Those are about a few. I have way more wit worse rifle than the real life Confederacy. In real life, the Confederacy had uh, only 700 to 1200 wit Uh I have less than that. Got 450 uh, on one one unit and 400 on another. So I have 850 total. Oh, it's right in there. Soul Reaper have a thousand men in a skirmish group. Yes. The, in this mod, the size of the units are way larger than in base game. Way larger. Which is why I have infantry regiments of 4,500 men right now. Don't you run from me! Oh, look at look at the range for the for the explosive shot for the shrapnel. It's huge. And those guys melted. And whoa, did we really? Did they really all surrender? Seven hundred and sixty-seven surrendered men. All right, I'm gonna move past the defensive position. Um, you know, we got enough men up there. Judas, you take up that position with Magnus. Yeah, I, I think that the that getting shot from someone you can't see has a really big morale shock because these guys were perfectly fine going toe to toe with Solar Crook there. Um, just, just nose to nose, rifle to rifle. But when they got shot in the flank by my stealthy little sniper diddlies there, they just broke and ran. Oh, uh, Nuwak, welcome. And Woodworm. All right. Yeah, let, let's go after these ones right here. See what happens. I mean, it's only eight guns on an inexperienced unit, so I mean, getting a couple dozen kills is perfectly fine. Shoot him in the back, Midge. Oh, thank you. Not bad at all. Wait till they we'll, wait till we get um a uh, uh, larger l larger unit there or more experience. Alrighty. Let's bring up more cannons. Fuck off! Fuck the. No! Fuck! God damn it. I'm gonna try to fix that before, by, by tomorrow's stream. Yeah, I'm also already fire, only firing skirmishers, that's right. All right, uh, Wolf King, we're just gonna hold the flank here with um, who's its doodle, Magnu. Why don't you go ahead and move up? Uh, you guys retreat from the field. Judas, I would really like you up here more. Soul Reaper, move up a little bit too. Where the fuck are they? They've only got eighteen hundred troops on the field. Seriously? Oh, oh, oh my. Yeah, no, there they are. There we go. I, I found him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hi friends. Uh, Soul Reaper, move the fuck up. Oh, they just, they just, oh yeah, there they are. That's about a few. That's about a few. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad I, 
good I think it was a good idea to have the skirmisher or the the melee guys over here. It's a whole other company. It is. I might I might charge these guys. It, it's they're going to take casualties doing it, but Yeah, there's about a few of them down here. That's 5,000 men that just materialize there. Uh, we're gonna have a pretty good flanking position though, which is great. Gonna be butted up right against the edge of the map. Oh, yeah. Christ has got his, his, uh, his who's it's his back. No, 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 oh boy. Yeah, no, I am, um, that timing right there. Yeah, everybody, full, full, full on charge. <laughs> oh God, that was a little funny. That was a little funny. Midgeman's up to 100 kills now. All right, let's get, okay. He's not doing anybody any good where he is right now. So let's bring him up. That, the, okay. The union regiments are starting to get really big. Like really big. Charge him quickly to route that one flank. Uh, no, not right now, I'm not. There is a lot of enemy troops over here, fresh with cannon support. With, oh my god, with lots of cannon support? No, they're in a good defensive position right now. No point in leaving it. I'm in solid defensive line right now. I have the trees. Have Soul Reaper here just start fight blocked. Oh god, the fucking the Hoosits is blocking them. Cannons are doing well here. Other quick, are you firing? You are. Let's get the snipers in on that too. Soul Reaper, your job is going to be to just distract these guys and hold the flank as long as possible. All right, Magnus in position. Got his first rounds off. Good. This is what I'm talking about. No need, no need to expose myself in a in a uh, in a charge forward when we could route these positions and uh, secure the flank the old-fashioned way. Fuck you. There's those skirmishers again. Uh, bye. Wow. That was that was a war crime right there. Ooh, ooh. hi, hi, cannons. This guy's got revolving rifles right now. Those are just carbines. How are you not dead, Stevens? All right, those those, those skirmishers, did they, they may have just melted into the forest again. Three people per shot. <laughs> not, not quite that many. There's 450 men firing on, what was it, 720 or something like that? And they killed like 150. So it was like one in three hit. But still, that's crazy high. Hey, Midge Man, how you doing over here? Alright, 
These are Napoleon, so that means they need to be up close and personal. These are 10 pound ordnance, so they're fine where they are. All right, we've got good positions. And Big Iron's already up to a thousand. Oh shit, he's in range? What's Judas doing there? Uh, where's Judas? Eh, I could send him in. I could run him up in the forest here to um, help out Soul Reaper. Soul Reaper is distracting a fair few of them, which, which I like. He's not taking very many casualties. It's a cheap unit. He's distracting a lot of Union uh, soldiers by holding that forested region. On the walk, please. Don't waste your stamina. And we we just moved up a fuck ton of Napoleons. Oh, they're gonna get shot though before they can reload. Eh, it's not that bad. Hold your position, Judas. Don't betray me. There's those skirmishers again. Eating them for breakfast. That is crazy amount of... Yeah, the morale shock from these snipers is crazy high. Like how they've got, they got cover standing in the middle of an open field. I like to think that maybe they're just laying down. All right, they should, are they, I wonder if that's gonna be technically in canister shot range. Might not be. No, it's, it's, they're firing explosive. These Union regiments are getting mighty large. Soul Reaper fell back, but Ju Judas took the position, so that's fine. Big Iron's got this flank. Got this flank pinned down. Well, it's he's on top of a hill, and then there's a valley, and then there's the, another hill, and he's just firing over the valley onto the other hill. It's a turkey shoot. Cannons in the center. Oh, yeah, they're supposed to be close. You know what? I'm gonna move Potato up out of this position. These are 12 pound, these are the 12 pound Napoleons. They're supposed to be right up close and personal. I think if I get Potato up there, though, it'll be better. I can avoid them taking any casualties. Or many, at least. Hey, Midge. Start firing on Morrison here. He's up. He's right here. They just got 300 kills now. Oh, yeah. There's the canister shot. Judas is getting it from three directions right now. But this is fine. Big, uh, big Iron OP. Especially when firing at other skirmishers in the open. These, these woods are really good cover. These guys are having a field day too. That's a lot of infantry, my god. Oh, canister shot into a flank. Oh. We've also we've also got Midge fire firing uh, directly into that and Faceless, who's the ten pound ordnance. I'm I'm liking these cannons. There's only eight of them and they're inexperienced and they're still getting good kills. Drive him out of this forest. Oh, and Earl Otis has been wounded.
if we uh if we just route robins in here we'll be able to take out those cannons Judas is not doing half bad. We've taken out 300 of those thousand men, so that's close to a third. How do I always turn a defensive battle into an offensive one? I've played this before. My tactics are better than they have been in the past. I mean, I am playing it defensively over here. All right, fire on the cannons now. Let's try to route those. Oh, looks like they're going. Did they, wait. Wait, they charged? Oh, fuck me. Eliminator, you know what to do. I wasn't paying attention to that. Um, I might just have my cavalry run this guy down. I don't think they're gonna be able to hold this position though. They, they charged in with two regiments, but there goes one. Oh, we need, we need uh, ammo up here. Midge man, you're sucking down all the ammo. Retarget the cannons. Keep this guy pinned down. Oh, he's in a swamp now. Keep him pinned down with rifle fire. All right, Wolfgang. I'm not gonna be able to fit both regiments in here. So Neocrat's gonna have to sweep around. All right, all right. Robinson's first brigade's gone, routed. Still a hot melee with Morrison's brigade. All right, everybody just, I know only one of those is a actual melee cavalry, but just get everybody in there. There he goes. Birdman did good. Do, uh, fall back, fall back. I'm mashing the fall back button. Do not chase them out of that forest. Do not chase them out of that forest. All right, continue falling back. Uh, switch positions, change places. Birdman, you'll rest. Also, no mercy, shoot him in the back. Shoot him in the back. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Wookie, welcome. All right, uh, all right, I think what we're gonna do now is cross the river with the skirmishers. Get them! They got nowhere to run! I think we got them. That solar is uh, spec for melee, so you uh, should have him taking the brunt of those melee charges. Um, well, he's just not in position for that right now, and uh, moving him out of position would be not ideal right now. And um, I mean, so far so good. Move potato up. Oh, Neocrat uh, routed some of those cannons. This is gonna be this is gonna be a tough one. There we go, that's what I want. I wanted him to run through one of them and hit the cannons in the, on the back side. It's like a, be, being in, in this regiment is like being part of a penal battalion. All right, fall back, fall back. Your bloodlust has been satiated. Fall back into the woods. 
We routed them from the position, sir. And Solar Crook's just sitting here chewing them up as they retreat. No point in standing in an open field and getting shot. Shoot the supply wagon. All right, no bullets for you. How's Judas? Not bad. Again, if I can't have the supplies, nobody can. Scor Scorch Earth Tactics. Oh, we're almost out of ammo. Wow, this battle was a slaughter. Well, they, they still technically have plenty of troops. Still 20,000 men on the field. But they're all chewed up. Timer Doodle took a thousand casualties in that, but was right, right in the thick of it for a long time. The battle is in a slaughter with me. Well, I think what we're gonna do, because I'm definitely having an easy time with this playthrough, um, I'm, after this we're gonna do the Union campaign, and we're definitely gonna turn it up to hard. We're definitely gonna crank it up a notch. Fifteen hundred kills for these guys right here. How's Midge doing? A thousand. We just got a thousand kills. Each gun's are fucking great. Send those supplies south. Ammunition is required to continue slaughter. Yeah, that I think that's one of the things that um, I do differently than most players is most players sprint down, um, like they put everything into like medicine or politics uh, right away. Uh, and I always go like to like between six and eight points into logistics right away because nothing turns a battle around harder than running out of ammunition. Is the Union or Confederate campaign harder? I think the Union campaign is supposed to be harder. Honestly, I didn't really notice a difference, but most people say the Union campaign is harder. Because as the Union, you're often attacking well-fortified positions, and as the Confederates, you're often defending well-fortified positions. I'm just, I'm just hands-off watching the slaughter now. Go away. A lot of ammo, but still firing. Because that's how ammo works in this. I'm going to pull them back a little bit more. They're just, they're, they're getting hit by cannons and rifle fire from three different directions as they come up. So as soon as they get anywhere, they're just, their morale gone. A lot of bodies in open field. That's about a few. My boys! I can't see my boys! If you guys have not seen Gettysburg, it's a good watch. It's very, very 90s. It is a very 90s movie, and it is four hours long. It's a good watch, though. And... We lost 2,700 men, they lost 24,000, so that was nearly 10 to one. Uh, two wounded, oh, uh, let's see here. Kills. Again, big iron at the top with 5,800 uh, for 20. 
KJ 2000 for 100, Judas 2000 for 400. Uh, this was the 12 pounders that were right on the front line 2000 for 96, Eliminator 1800 for 19. He was in the woods up there. Uh, let's see, Midge Man 1578 to 0, along with Face Faceless 1559 to 0. I think we did good. General Lee, zoom in with dramatic music. I have no division. All right, um, I got one career point. I want lar I, I want to. I want to get a larger charge. Oh, let's see. I, I don't know. Um, I think. Uh, yeah, I need one more point to be able to get six thousand man brigade size. Keep popping down the training. All right. So let's see here. The fourth division wasn't even engaged. Alberto lost two men. Still too afraid to actually commit him to anything. Tank lost just a few. Uh, I might. Do I have any melee stuff? How much would that cost? Or sixteen thousand dollars to respec him now. less expensive if I use the more expensive guns because I have some of these Colts laying around. Uh, Judas, you lost 400 men. He was in the thick of it for a while. Potato lost just a few. That was just at the end there. Let's see. Neocrat lost a couple. Not a big deal. Those vets only cost, uh, well, yeah, only 8,000 for that. We lost a gun here, so we'll bring that back in. Yes, sir. Faceless. Uh, we don't have any more 10. We're running out of 10-pound ordnance guns. That's a shame. The 12-pound Whitworths are really good. And Sarlacc, you're going to you boss about 50 men. You'll go back up. This is the biggest one. And uh, let's see, veterans there would be $50,000, but we always just put rookies right back in there. There we go. So your unit still exists. Uh, Noops, yeah, you're fine. Uh, you are down here, right there. You even got nice rifles. Reminds me, we got a, we got a, we, we could definitely do some rifle upgrades. Um, to make Wolf King another 4,500. I don't think we're going to quite do that. Yeah, I think we're going to keep him at uh, 3,000. Maybe, well, maybe we'll do vets for him. Yeah, it's pretty cheap for that. Magnum, can you get a couple more cannons in there? Yeah, a couple more cannons. Eliminator. No, we're, we're out of... Eliminator's got his hoarding all those good 10-pound ordnance guns. Completely forgot about today's stream. That's yeah, fine. And always, the, the VODs will be there for months, and it always ends up going up on, on YouTube. Let's see. So, for the 5,600 kills he got, it cost us $3,000 worth of men. Oh, my God. $15,000 for this. Go up to 500 snipers. Because it's stupid OP. I'm ne next time uh, on the Union campaign, depending on how hard hard it is, I might actually just forego using snipers because they're so crazy powerful. Thousand KJ lost less than a hundred, and Birdman. All right, I'm gonna take a look at my armory after this. Still got some money laying around. Let's see. For rifles, we have a lot of Harper Ferries 1855s laying around. And even some of these British guns, the Enfields. 4,500, man. Big, Big Iron can only get up to 100, or, or to 1,000, I mean. He can only, that's as far as he can get. What I could do is, um,. Start buying up all the Henry, Henry, repeating Henry rifles. 
we're equipped an entire regiment with that. Start, eh, it's, it's possible. I know I've got 500 of these right now. But I'll give a line, uh, 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 some line infantry, some Henry repeaters, and spec them for uh, reload speed. That's something I could do. But uh, right now what I'm looking at is we've got a lot of these um, Harper Ferry 1855s laying around. So let's see. We've got, uh, our, I'm pretty sure everybody's got good shooting guns up here. Enfields is Springfield 1855s and Enfields. Um, I'm going to give KJ, I'm going to spend the rest of my money to veteran up uh, KJ here uh, to 2,300 men. And let's see, Harper Ferry. Is there is there a gun I could give them? Doo -doo -doo. Tentative. Wish I had more time to watch our streams. Keep up the good work, though. Thanks for the resub, there, bud. Imagine how much ammo they would use. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, uh, uh a Henry rifle has what, 16 rounds in it? A, thou a thousand men. Uh, let, let's say it would be a, a small line unit of a thousand men. 16 rounds per, uh, per rifle. 16,000 rounds per reload. For the regiment. Alright, so the percussion... I, I'm wondering if we could actually give them a gun better than just the percussion musket. Uh, so because I need something that's got a good melee. So I'm looking for a high melee rating. So the MJ and G's got a high melee rating, but I don't have very many of them. I could give him the Harper Ferry. It has the same melee. The Harper Ferry 1855 is a better shooting gun, and it has a better. It has the same melee rating. <laughs> hey Stubbs. The Enfields, the Enfields are good, yes, but most of those go to the 1st Division, and I would need 4,500 of them. Uh, where are the Enfields? I don't even see them on here. There they are right there. So they've got a melee rating of 80, but I only have half the uh, the number I need in the bank. And I don't have enough, I don't have the money to buy that. It's $100,000. King of Rome! Thanks for the sub there. Man, I am so glad I recently stumbled onto your channel, it seems. We like almost all the same games. Oh, cool. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it here. I am glad. Uh, I do tend to play a, uh, a a lot of a lot of strategy and war stuff. Forgot Soul Reaper. He's fine. I just give him rookies. They don't cost a dime. All right, so what I'm going to do is... Um, Heimer Doodle is actually going to get a decent rifle now. 4,500 of those rifles going to him. So we can go, go grab Soul Reaper, pop him, uh, pop him right back up to 1,000. Wow. I love that the... Because there's more of them, the melee gets better. Thing cost a dime. Sell the unused weapons. Uh, well, what I'm going to do is kind of trickle them. To, most of these weapons will probably end up trickling down through the ranks here. Um, because I've got a lot sitting up. So you've got the... So Wolfkin's got the Harper Fairies too, because those, those are a good melee gun. Uh, let's see. Lorenz, that's a good gun. Alright, so these ones are kind of old. Those are the 1841s. God, I've got... I've got a lot of spring, good Springfields up in here. Are those better than the Enfields? No, the Enfields are better than that. Okay, so... Here, let's give Potato here those those new Springfields. Uh, what do you got? You got the 1841s. I want to save these up for, uh, for, for resupplying um, Doodle because he's going to take casualties. Don't have enough for that. That's fine. Uh, I've got 2,000 more Enfields, though. So I can keep Judas with some of those really good Enfields.
All right, so now we've got several thousand. I can. Per I don't know. I'll keep the percussion muskets around, maybe. Maybe I'll no. Maybe I'll sell those because the Harper fairies are better. Uh, and what I could do is I could start equip. I could go to the second core here. So these guys already have Lorenzes all across the board. Oh, Telkus does too. Free Noobs has got Springfields. I didn't even know I had anybody equipped with MJ and G's, but Jeff has MJ and G's. All right, we'll go down to Pensacola here and we'll start handing out those Harper Fairies. Down here. And that, that leaves three regiments still with the old percussion muskets, but everybody else has been upgraded. Three bucks a rifle, yeah. Um, so I could sell those if I wanted to. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to hold off doing that until we see what the next, um, sell, sell then stockpile more snipers in four and a halfs. Uh, well, the snipers, there's always enough of. There, there, there always seems to be enough of those lying around. Um, the four and a half inch siege pieces, I do not have access to. I, there's none of them I can buy. There's a couple Blakeleys, though. And I mean, um, this stuff doesn't refresh until after you fight, uh, fight a major battle. So I've still got with the weapons factory and then Antietam before it'll refresh. Uh, okay, so I think we'll just, we're just going to move on to the next battle then. Weapons factory. By all the 24 pounders. Those are pretty, for, pretty expensive. And only one unit's using them right now. With an order to seize Harper's Ferry and capture the valuable weapons factory located there. Uh, Seawall! Thanks for the, the diddly there. Uh, the guards of Harper Ferry have left the town and the and hold the heights in front of us to our, halt our advance. Attack them, capture the heights, and clear the way to the town. Okay, so. Do we want to send in the second core to try to get them some experience? I'm gonna do it. So this, there's gonna be no big iron here. I'm set. I'm gonna send in the second core to try to get them some experience. No big iron. We've been ordered to advance, seize Harper's Ferry, and capture the weapons factory. The guards of Harper Ferry have left the town and captured the. Oh, that's what I just said. All right, uh, so as always, what we'll do is clear this out and take only who we want. We demand slaughter. Well, ah, don't worry. All right, let's see, what do we got here? So we got 10 pound ordinance, 12 pound Napoleon, Napoleon, Napoleon. That is really goddamn annoying me. Uh, we do have Valenro. He's got he's got the old Whitworths that were hand-me-downs from Big Iron. And <laughs> he cleans rifles. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's stack up the first core over here on the left. Doodle Jaeger, Admiral Akbar, and Utari. That way we don't have to cross the Ford there. Um... I think we'll probably just end up arraying the cannons on this side. I know this is where we gotta go. We only got the one really good, the rest are Napoleons, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, but let's go ahead and get the rest, uh, at least another division of infantry in here. So that's Free Noops, Telkis, and Jeff. Probably not gonna need Cav. We actually have a lot of room to work here, so. That's Pensacola, Ukrainian. Trimson. And three more, I, I think I'll just bring in the uh, the Napoleons. Gotta keep clicking on the wrong thing. There we go. 
Well, the Napoleons probably don't have the range for... Okay, so what I'm going to do is the Napoleons probably don't have the range to fire across really into anybody. So I'll put the ordnance and one Napoleon on the, on the right and the other ones on the left. Let's do this. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? T. Brookus! Welcome. Okay, so... Left flank, run. Just to fucking sprint to cover. And what I'll do is I'll send the second division to take this ridge line right here. Uh, Napoleon's right in behind them. Uh, I don't know if there's any infantry on this side, honestly, but I'll send a regiment over here all the same. I'll move some cannons up there and send Valenro up as well. Napoleons are really underwhelming in the base game, only slightly better in this mod. Yeah, I'm using them because it's what I got. <laughs> um, I really dislike the 12 pound howitzers. I found I find those to be the worst next to the six pounders. Uh, but the, Napo the Napoleons are really good for canister because it's not a rifled gun. Um, it's got a really, really good canister shot. Mickey 2 soundtrack playing? Yes, it is. So if your mother's you, a bitch. Your mother's a bitch. Is that because I just I refuse to bring in big iron? What the hell's going on? I mean, what the hell is going on? Uh, well, right now what the hell's going on is I don't know where the fuck the enemy is. I don't know if there's any. You know, there's nobody on this side, and there's no crossing on this side. I don't think. Oh, hi, friends. Uh, I bet Big Iron could shoot them from there. Okay, so, uh, Doodle... Okay, I'm gonna take the run off on these guys. Doodle Jaegers, I don't want them to use all their... their who's it says running. I'm gonna send Utari and Doodle Jaeger over this way. Admiral Akbar, you're gonna floop through the woods. Pensacola, you're gonna, uh, take up Ag Admiral's flank. Free Noops and Telkis, you're going to sit on this ridge and probably get shot for a little bit. Play stuff three starting next week. Uh, this month definitely, but I'm not exactly sure when yet. Uh, Magnus, or that's not Magnus. It's Kraker. Get you up here and uh, get it, get the reserve troops in here. All right, uh, Valenro, you can come around this way, I guess. Now, Jacob, you're the twelve pound, uh, the Napoleons. I'm gonna put you right there and hope for the best. Yeah, there's there's nobody on this side, so Jeff, just come over here. I'm sorry that you have to get shot, Telkis, but some someone's gotta sit there and distract them while the uh, the rest of the troops are on the move. Hi, friends. And I'm um I'm purposely walking them on the left so that we don't use up their their uh, condition. I'm worth more than a meat shield. These guys within range here. Oh, we got skirmishers too. All right, Akbar, you're gonna get over here and start shooting into the flanks. Oh hey! Oh wait, that's I was like, there's somebody up here. No, that's me. Oh, now I wish I had big iron. Big iron could definitely shoot them from there. There's a, there is a fair few of them here. Can you even, can you shoot anybody from there? You might be able to. Uh, get right, just stand right, get, get your feet wet. All right, keep moving up guys. All right, free noobs, you got a really good shooting gun. Start hitting these guys. Telkis. Gonna kind of, all right, oh, okay, okay. Valenro's got a shot. Good. He's not, he, he isn't killing no 200 Yankee bastards per volley, but he's doing something. Plan for the new uh, nation after you win the war. Bunch of new plantations. Um, 
Well, uh, let's see. First, first we the slaves. That's the first thing we're gonna do when the uh, when the war is over. Then build railroads. Those are important in this time and era. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and move these up. Free noobs, do you got a shot from there? I don't think you do. I don't think we're losing this war, though. Pretty expensive beach shield with those Lorenz guns. I got a lot of Lorenz guns sitting around. He's only lost 60 men. And remember, we get some of those back. Yeah, as long as the gun survives. We, we definitely pick those up off the battlefield. Valderos having a good time. Cannons are doing the thing. Finding the slave the Chinese to make it build the railroads for that. That's later. That's after, yeah, that's after the war. And we didn't enslave them, it was just practical slavery. They just got paid nothing. They got paid in real, in, 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 in railroad monopoly money. We could break this guy right there. That'd be great. All right, we got our reinforcements coming up. Oh, hey, Valadero routed the uh, the flank. Now, can you shoot these guys from there? I think you can. Counter battery fire. All right, we need to start moving up. We need to start moving up. Bad contract, yeah. Well, when you do it, when you don't know the language, let's get back a little bit. There, yeah, that's what we want. We want them to get them out of range so that they're more interested in what's going on in the forest. So that we can work the flank. Hope they got more cannons over here too. I'm used to I'm used to the absolute slaughter caused by the first division of the first corps. When you're not using your best troops, it definitely takes a little bit longer. This is what we want. Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, there's guys to shoot over here. All right, Noodle Jaeger, move up. Hello, Ben Chat. Yeah, uh, yeah, everybody's alive. I haven't lost anybody. Well, the, actually, the only unit I ever lost was me, but I reformed me. <laughs> First Corps would have taken the hill by now. Oh, yeah. The second Corps doing all right, though. All things considered, the second core's not doing half bad. Go away! Have Doodle Diego to turn the flank, take these out. Come over this way. Actually, you know what? Start moving Utari up as well. And Pensacola up this way. Not too worried about their arty right now. Reminds me of the Cossacks game. Yeah, I remember Cossacks. I played that as a kid. Ooh, I think that guy. I thought I thought that guy for a second was about to rout. Okay, uh, free nukes. Now that we outnumber them, they can't fire at everybody at the same time. Move up. Cannons on this side are a nice little uh, nice little who's it's the Napoleons at this range aren't doing jack shit, but I'm. These guys, well, no, nobody over here is really doing too well. All right, Telkis, move up. Perfect. Oh, they got those that unit of 500 skirmishers up still. All right, Pensacola, I'm gonna need you to get up this way. I don't want to get flanked by that calf. All right. Yeah. Okay. The second core is definitely taking a little bit longer here. Definitely taking a little bit longer. 
game like Total War-ish. Um, it's a little, a little different. Um, there is a, there's not really a turn-based um, element to the game, but there is a logistics phase where you actually build your army, um, which is more in depth than the Total War section. Um, but yeah. I, I guess it's it's roughly in the same genre. Roughly, very roughly. It's also much slower paced. Much slower paced. You know, a battle isn't done in, in five or ten minutes like in Total War. Alright, let's go ahead and move these cannons up right behind... These are, these are Napoleons, so they need to be up close. Yeah. So I can't grab the supply wagon. Let's move the supply wagon up to the left flank, which hasn't been engaged longer. All right, Pensacola will cover the will, will cover the flank from the cavalry. Everybody get in position. Yeah. Snipers are out of range of everything now, so they gotta walk all the way around. Problem is, is we're just we're just whittling right now, and we're not having a good time of it. None of them are routed. Oh, we just lost a uh, uh, probably commander over. Free noops. He lost his commander. Um, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta move. I gotta make a move. I gotta start routing some of these guys, or we're not gonna get, we're not gonna win this. Those cavalry stuck into the corner of the map. because those cannons are right fucking there. All right, let's get him moving. I got, I got to get him out of that little area, though. All right, fire on the cannons. Pensacola fall back. We got skirmishers in the open there. Cover the flank. On the run, Doodle Jagger fall back. No, no, no! I accidentally hit the wrong button, and I told him to route. All right, fall back. Stay in the woods. Stay in the woods. We're starting to surround him. That's good. All right, cannons are in closer now. I want the cannons you to focus on the third. Is that Maryland MD. All right, Doodle Jagger, hold this position. Pensacola, right there. These guys are not having any luck. Fuck you, go away! Cover them from those skirmishers. Skirmishers are in the open now, so they're gonna start taking a little bit more casualties. And once we whittle down some of these cannons, we can do a charge. <laughs> cannons move really fast when you just push them downhill. Doodle Jaeger ran. Well, we still got two hours. He didn't take even, yeah, he must have did that canister shot, just freaked him out. Didn't even take that many casualties. I need you to counter battery fire these enemy guns. I'm a little disappointed. In, okay, uh,. Let's speed this up a little, let, let a little bit of time pass here. I'm a little disappointed in my men's performance thus far. I think we just need time here. All right, Pensacola, Doodle Jaeger, I wanna keep you in reserve until your condition uh, recoups. Pensacola, move up. I need to take out more of these cannons before we can even consider. Oh, they routed. Wait, 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 wait. 
Wait, they routed. This could be a really bad idea. Mass charge. We gotta take advantage of the situation right now. We gotta... We, this is gonna cause a lot of casualties, but this is taking... This battle is really taking its time. Telkis is having the worst of it. He's gotta charge uphill into unengaged enemies with other people in the uh, behind him. So Telkis got the got the raw end of that deal. But we needed to get those we needed to route those cannons. <laughs> Telkis, somebody had to do it. Somebody had to do it. The second Illinois surrendered. Oh, those were those were cannons. Get the, the fuck out of there. Oh, Telkis, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Telkis. Oh no, they got the cannons reloaded. Oh, Pensacola is about to eat a dick. Point blank range canister shot. Confederates secured the heights at Harper's Ferry. All right, cannons. Move up. Doodle Jaeger on the run. All right, um, these three. Stop the charge. Reform on the uh, reform on the forest line. Doodle Jaeger up to the top there. Ukrainian and free noobs fall back. Fall back. Throw them from their positions. Oh my God! Pensacola routed through the enemy lines the wrong direction. Ten, uh, Telkis, 2,000 men. Yeah. He only lost 767. He's not even at 50%. I don't want to hear it. He's not even at 50% casualties yet. When he's at at least 50% casualties, then I'll start worrying about him. But thankfully, we captured the position we needed. Ukrainian, I'm gonna have you fall back. I'm gonna have you displaced to this side of the line. Yes, shoot the cannons. Shoot the cannoneers. We don't have enough room on the flank here. God damn it, this is so fucking annoying. Focus, re re recover that condition, sir. Well, I think we did pretty good. Weak cannons for the big bucks. Oh, money's not really an issue. We've always had enough. Utari's not in a good position because he could be easily flanked. But we've brought our cannons up now. Just fishing bit. It's it, it's it's a problem with my streaming software. All the all the errors are coming from. Um, from Streamlabs. All right, they're charging. Atari's not in a good position to uh, actually uh, defend from that either. All right, the, hi the hill has been taken. And we've, 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 we've driven them from their position. The hill has been taken. Oh, 
Where's Telkis? Yeah, he's back. He's fine. There we go. Chilling in the little caravan at the back. Uh, that's my snipers. I forgot about them. Are you not entertained? Gero, welcome. But they're zippy, so they can get into position quick. Oh, oh, oh shit, I forgot about Pensacola. Motherfucker. He reformed behind the enemy lines. It was deliberate. It was deliberate. That was part of the plan. That uh Pen that Pensacola would 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 feign a retreat through the enemy lines and then fired them from the rear. It was deliberate, I say, it was deliberate. Everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine, we're all fine here now, thank you. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. It was deliberate, it was deliberate. Doodle Jaeger. Go kill those cannoneers. Hopefully we capture some good Union cannons. Love to capture some more uh, of the ordnance. 10 pound ordnance rifles. Rifled cannons, that is. Pensacola is in a precarious position too. See if I can get him to, to move. Oh, no, no, that's Valenro, shit. Fall back a little. Oh, no, there's another charge. All right, just keep, uh, we got 45 minutes to let him, not have him not get killed. Hey! Snipers, help! Hey! Snipers helped. And uh, retreating Doodle Jaeger allowed three regiments to fire at Ward there. Now, Pensacola, what you're gonna do is gonna run over here and just try to take out those cabs for me. Well, my snipers, see if we can route these skirmish units. Hey, wait, 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 I see what they're doing. I see what you're doing, you fuck. Trying to get that cannon, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these guys right over here. Now, now we're good. He's safe. He's safe. It's gonna be expensive to fix. Oh no, it's not gonna be expensive. Remember, these are inexperienced units, so replacing them with other rookies is basically free. You only have to pay for the guns. And most of these guys I have extra guns for. Definite. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got six minutes left, but still can't let them charge my uh, my, my 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 snipers there. They're not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Uh, okay. So we killed eight thousand. We lost five thousand. But those were very inexperienced units. We knew that going into it. We did this to get them some experience. Um, some of those will be healed up as well. And we were attacking a well-fortified enemy position. See the bonuses for Antietamar? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. We lost Roger Battle and uh, Herman Martson. Marston. I uh, got a couple promotions, though. Let's see. Captured. I'm interested in a gun. Nap oh, they're only Napoleons. Shit. Another point into medicine, maybe. Going into a big battle, another point into medicine. 
All right. Uh, somebody wanted to see the bonuses for. I think I think you're talking about the bonuses for this. So defeated the enemy at the Battle of Harper's Ferry. So minus five percent enemy army size. Defeated the enemy at the Battle of Chantilly. Five percent army size. And defeated the enemy at the Battle of the Second Bull Run. Minus five percent enemy. So minus fifteen percent. Didn't check the kill counts. Ow. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. So first core is perfectly fine. Uh, okay, it was all, all cannoneers got, um, promotions there. So, Napoleon's short range, Napoleon's short range, Napoleon's short range. So we'll give them that. Uh, most of them weren't, in, ac didn't actually get engaged. Alright, so let's see, Trimson here, again, just rookies, so. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep them where they were. Two thousand. Have to pay for some of these because we actually did lose some of those guns. This is the MJ and G's, which I don't find all around Hurry a lot. Up, Free noops. Bam. Telkis. Two thousand men. Uh, Duty Ayer only lost seventy. Or was it was it seventy or five hundred and seventy? I think all of these were twenty five hundred men regiments. It's probably five hundred and seventy. Yes, sir. And Akbar. All right. That's everybody back to where they were before. Barely cost me anything. Barely cost me anything. Delightful. Doing Antietam today? Uh, uh, plenty. Of, I got time left. Should start it at least. Uh, so we got $75,000 left. Balnero lost 15 men. I'll give him veterans. Twenty-five hundred on yes, my shooters. More guns. Uh, with this engine, you can do a incredible game set during the the Punic Wars. What do you think, Ben? Um, I I think it would because a lot of this is based off in, uh, infantry lines firing at each other, and not so much on melee. I think it would be uh, you you could port it directly into something like Franco-Prussian War kind of thing, uh, pretty easily, or Napoleon. Big iron uh, size increase to compensate for not being in the battle. He already got a size increase the last time. He went he went from 350 to 400. 400 to, um, uh, last week was 350, 400. And then 400 to 450 at the start of this week. Then 450 to 500. You already got your thing. You gotta let somebody else have it. Oh, also, um, we should spend some of this. So we've got 94. And Tidham will give us 20. We should try to spend this down to about 80. So I should try to spend about 14 to buy a bunch more Enfields. Boxer Rebellion. There's a lot, basically any any combat uh, that covered, uh, you know, that took place a time period where it was lines of people shooting each other, this would work well in. <laughs> Just take some cash. Or, 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 no, 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 we do have to spend this. I think I might just take the cash. Fuck it, I'm taking the cash. Armory. It's $57,000 worth of Henry rifles.
buy. Then I'm going to go over to... Who's got my Henry rifles right now? I don't even remember who has them. Somebody has them. Golducat has them. Gold Ducat, Gold Ducat has them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Gold Ducat's uh, Henry's away. Give him these Enfield 1856s. I think you guys might know what I'm doing here. Um, someone needs to get transferred to the second core. Do I even have room? I do. Sorry, Soul Reaper. I've got something else in mind. Hey, Ivot. New infantry brigade. Equipped with a thousand Henry repeaters. Yeah. Accuracy and reload time. Wish you could join the queue. Just keep watching, you'll be able to join it. Um, you get you get those ducats for joining um, when uh, uh, just by watching, and that applies to online and offline. So if you're watching the VOD, um, you can do it too. Uh, I think I might be. Hang on, let's see. I don't know if it works because it has not been making. It has not been working recently. Oh, there we go. It worked. So I, somebody's gonna somebody's gonna get named after this thing. I'm gonna give everybody the the chance to get on the queue if they want to. Gave, uh, handed out a couple ducats there, because somebody's gonna get equipped with a thousand Henry repeaters. And that queue is oh yeah, a lot of people join the queue. Um, and if any if anybody's already on it and you hit join, it just won't put you on there. Uh, and it, sadly, it does not get chosen again. Can we swap? I will say yes. I will say yes. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pick it now. The button. The button's coming down. If it's somebody in the first core. Oh, I'll say this: If it's anybody on the in the first core, you're staying where you are, because you you already get a lot of action. If it's somebody from the second core, I'll give them a promotion. Boop. Let's see who is it. Shut up! <laughs> it's Nuke. Oh, that's a good name right there. That's a good name right there, Nuke. Ha 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 ha! And I'm gonna spec these guys for rate of fire. Oh, that's gonna be delightful. Uh, you know what I just thought? Does Antietam need a third core? I gotta check this out. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, uh, we need to do a little work here, guys. I didn't even think about that. Uh, yeah, we need a third core. So we're gonna, a couple, a couple more people are getting named. The old bow core. And let's see. Speed, charge damage, or accuracy. I'll give these ones accuracy. <laughs> then the French Foreign Legion arrives! Yes. Uh, okay. Um. So, there, the, there is an option to just transfer divisions to the, um. Okay, okay. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do. 
Um, I, what do these guys got? I'm gonna transfer the second division from the first core for this, or the second division from the second core to be the first division in the third core. So that there's some experienced troops leading the third core. So it's not just a bunch of derps. Um, let's go to the third, third division. Second core, and let's fill it out. Okay. So at least that division's full. Then you demote me. No, Tuckus, you got promoted. You were you are now the the, the lead of a core instead of secondary. It's a promotion. Ish. Uh, and this is egg. Or we call him blue. We'll go with blue shark. Musketry. Speed and charge. Okay. All right. Now we, now, now we need promoted size. It's a lateral promotion what it is it's a lateral promotion look at this you you get to be in charge of a bunch of derps a bunch of uh, untrained derps these guys uh musketry here all right grant all the dregs are welcome in my core overkill love it Hey, think about it this way. At least nobody's getting old, reborn hunting muskets. <laughs> Brazil. These are still basically free because they're they're new recruits, and they um. Ah, oh. and I already got the gun, so I basically don't have Neocrat. Thanks for the diddly. Insert something witty here. That is so witty. Eric. Shameful Eric. display. A shameful oh. display. Uh, well, we've got some ten-pound parrots. These guys could have. Fuck me. You know what? Hang on. Let's go to the armor really quick. Let's. I. I know I'm not going to be using these. Let's sell those. I still got 20 pound parrots I could use too. And one James rifle. <laughs> Please let me kill my name. Uh, well, hopefully Overkill will be able to do some murderage. Eventually you run out of recruits. Uh, yeah, well, theoretically, Stop yes. Exploding, you coward! There's a finite amount. What is his name? Nautius Maximus. <laughs> Hey, uh, Trevita, oh god. Uh, Trevita, Trevita, Trev, Trev, Trev. Thanks for the cheer there, Trev. Appreciate it. Uh, give him eight guns here. Wow, there are, there's a lot of people in here. Okay, I'll give you uh, a medium range colonel. All 12 of these bad boys. 10 pound parrots are pretty good for counter battery fire. Definitely spec him for long range. Uh, let's see. Let's get some skirmishers in here. What can we give them? What do we give some skirmishers? What, what do we got sitting around that would be good for skirmishing with? We've got 3,000 sharps carbines. Here, let's give this person at least a, uh, uh, a major. Okay, 20 pound parrots, I'll have at least an eight gun battery. 200 more snipers. Hockey. Efficiency, eight.
Uh, if I'm gonna put in 20, if, if we're gonna have some 20 pound parrots, they're going into the second core here. Let's see, we got 20 pounders. I don't already have somebody equipped with 20 pounders. Thought I did. Sir, yes, sir. I hit nine, and I'm gonna I, I'm gonna hire in a uh, uh, let's go with the lowest range, the lowest kernel I got, so they're not total derps. Uh, long range accuracy for that one. Hampton. I bet you that one. Yeah. Face this. There we go. Bring him in. A lot of cannons in here. Second core's got a lot of cannons, definitely. Alrighty. Um, armory, skirmishers. I'm gonna sell, let's say, 1,500 of these. I can sell here. Let's sell a bunch of these too. Let's sell 31 of those. Let's sell another. Let's sell another 10 of those. There we go. Don't we have a faceless in the first war? Do we? Uh, if we do, we do have a faceless. So we'll go again. Sorry, faceless, but you've already got some cannons. Defender. Do we have a defender already? I don't know if we have a defender. It sounded familiar. Dooley Eger. Uh, this one needs to be redoodled too. Thank you, chat, for reminding me. Do we have a Jutnik? That sounds familiar too. I want to make. I want. I want everybody to at least have a chance to get one as much as possible. We got a Jacob. I don't think we have a Jutnik. I think we're good there. So we still got fifty thousand. Uh, let's see. So we got three full divisions here. The fourth division here is just a bunch of, uh, is just that, that group of what's is we have there. Uh, I'm going to bring in another cavalry brigade here. We'll go up to 450 as well. Wow, that's way too expensive. Fucking hell. 20,000 for, no, no, no. I'm not doing that. Um... Way too much. You know what? Uh, we'll just we're just we got we got a bunch of these sitting around. Bring in some more cannons, and maybe at least get a let's put a lieutenant colonel in charge there. Spec for short, medium range, please, and thank you. It's Antietam. We're gonna need cannons out the wazoo, right? God, that's a name. Um, we love you. Shut up, baby. I know it. Woo, I did a thing. Thanks for the two months in a row there, bud. Sniper doodle of a couple hundred guns. It's gonna be expensive. I don't have a, I don't have the guns already bought. Okay, so S Z E F D F twenty one. He's been picked a number of times in a number of different games, and it's always hard to find a name that fits. S uh, S F. There we go. Um, so we got a brigadier commander in here. Yeah, the efficiency is awful because the commanders suck. Oh, you know what we can do? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Iron Doodle. We got a brig brigadier general in charge of you. Let's bring in uh, a colonel. Sir, yes, sir. That way we can promote. I have a division commander better there. <sighs> Fish season good on these guys, but there's not much I can do about that right now. Four 
$40,000 left. All right. Cannon fodder it is. Welcome to the army, cannon fodder units. What is his name? Nautius Maximus. <laughs> One more for the Dane. Thanks, Casca. One more then, the Dane smiley face. So that's what is that what you want? Just just one one more man in your regiment than the Dane? Just keep fucking with Telkis. Man, these are some these are some inexperienced units. Theseus. Now you force me to you you know, Telkis, you get to lead the meat shields, is what you get to do. You get to lead the meat shields. You're you're in charge look at look think of it this way, Telkis. Look how many men you're in charge of. You are you are in you are leader of all these guys. Uh you get to you get to send them to die wherever. Oh now oh you guys are talking about bits, I gotcha. Oh, Squirrel's already got one, obviously. Crag, I don't think wait, does Crag have one? I think Crag might have to have to check again. I don't think Crag does, but it sounds familiar. There's Casca down there. I knew you were in here. Nope, he doesn't. He's good. Okay, um... Eight more Napoleons. We're playing Zap again. Chris. Um... I'm gonna send waves and waves of my own men directly into the enemy death cannons. Not gonna with wreckage. So it's extremely experienced. Eh. And oh my god, what are you guys doing? Okay, do I have any more guns that I can even, any more useful guns to even buy? Some of those 10 pound Blakeleys. Uh, let's see, that's down here somewhere. Spend some money on those, because they're really good. i to buy them all up. Magnu, you want some more guns? Sure, Magnus, you get some more guns. How many How many more snipers can we get in here? Or, oh, you know we could, mm, can we, how many, how many, um, how many Whitworths can we buy? No, not a thousand. Sir, yes, sir. That's that's wrong. Ah, it's too much money. Um. I'd have to sell something to make that work. Got a lot of these Springfields sitting around. Somebody could get those. Uh, Mike. Doom! <laughs> Gonna need supplies. I'll I'll give you guys up to ten thousand five hundred. Dump the rest into Imperialist, and that's what we're going in with. That's what we're going in with. We're out of money. We've spent everything. We're going into Antietam. 